Should zoning officials be allowed to get inspection warrants for your home? That's the question that got Lynchburg City Council an earful tonight. With so many concerns, they've put the debate on hold. Thanks for watching the night team. I'm Mark Kelly filling in for Len Stevens. Inspection warrants have been a hot topic for Lynchburg, and tonight it was the only topic. The debate is over whether zoning officials should be allowed to get inspection warrants to go into homes when property owners resist. Tonight, council voted to rewrite the ordinance and hold another hearing in August. But many say in two months, the concerns will still be there. When we look at this issue as the Tea Party... Kurt Feigl is Lynchburg's Tea Party president. He's fought for Second Amendment rights. Now he's fighting for Fourth Amendment rights and says inspection warrants would trample them. These are property rights issue. Is it my property or is it the state's property? Is it the county's property? Is it the city's property? Whose is it? Is it mine? And many agreed with Feigl. It takes away our rights out of our Constitution. It just cancels out and just trashes it all together. And I think that is uh, very, very poor. Zoning violations focus on quality of life issues. City Attorney Walter Irwin disagrees. Using the warrant itself, Irwin says, is what makes the procedure constitutionally sound and court approved. For zoning official Rob Fowler, it makes his job easier. The benefit for this would be when we run into an uncooperative property owner that we believe <clears throat> is violating the ordinance. It would give us another tool to try to get in to see if a violation really does exist. Fowler says he needed inspection warrants two times for illegal boarding houses that he couldn't get inside and inspect. But those against it say this is giving police powers to bureaucrats, and that's a slippery slope. I mean, what's next? Are you going to give you're going to give the planning inspectors, the building inspectors, guns? You're going to give them badges? I understand. You know, people's homes are their private place, and we have no intentions to knock down doors. We're as we said, council rewrote the ordinance. Instead of a magistrate, officials will go directly to a circuit court judge. Officials must give the property owner a five-day notice before inspection. And inspection warrants can only be used for illegal businesses and too many people to a home.